Three, two, one. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Fury Talks. This is your host, Henry Almas, and we are back with my friend, Brian Loyal, the back. guy I'm who back. said that Man United will be in second place. I want to make fun of you the whole time because that's going to be your character now. But yes, the guy. But hey, Man United is doing pretty good now, but without Ronaldo. <laughs> That's Sadly. the thing. I know. Oh my God! You heard what happened yeah. with him? Whew. He's getting betrayed, man. That's crazy. He was betrayed. No, I, I even called it to dude. Ah, what is going on? That's a huge. That's a whole discussion for another podcast. But we are going to talk about the World Cup because the World Cup is coming soon. And nine days. Nine days. Okay. Still, what do you what are your thoughts about this World Cup? Are you excited or what are you what are you feeling? I think I'm I'm very excited, but it just I think the whole thing is a mess because it's I don't know why FIFA. Wanted to be in Qatar, dude. Dude, it's a mistake. I know. Dude. Oh my god, dude. The it, environment's horrible there. I know, and like there's uh, so there's many so many rules, dude. That like, it's it's yeah. I, I don't know. This World Cup is like it's exciting, but same time even like, even the like whatever the FIFA administration said, yeah, it was a mistake hosting in Qatar. Uh, the president, yeah, yeah he even admitted yeah. it. Dude, it's so it's a mess. Like, well, because you know the workers there are just are slaves there, dude, doing the whole thing. Yeah, it's the thing. Like, and I, like, like a lot of workers like died. I for, feel like building the, like the stadiums and you exactly. Know. I feel bad, but like, I don't know what you, what can you do? Cancel the whole World Cup? Like, yeah. it, it it's it, I don't even, I'm like I'm excited, but at the same time like same time I just feel bad because I'm on of people that just passed away and like yeah. took their lives just building these stadiums and all these and like. All these good players, their final World Cup, and this is right. the whole thing. Like, dude, it's a huge mess. And like the the fans, you saw the whole like the pain the fans, dude. That's embarrassing. Dude, that, that's so embarrassing. Qatar dude. is such a mess, dude. Paying yeah. paying fake fans to promote this World Cup. That's actually embarrassing. Yeah, like, that, I don't, yeah, I don't think that's right. From that FIFA. really, that legit brought the hype level for the World Cup like this level. Oh, like, yeah. It's oh, yeah. it's oh, Qatar is a mess. Like, and it should have been. Did you know this World Cup should have been, have been in the, United in the exactly yeah. then Russia and then well after Russia it would have been in the United States and right. Mexico and all that that is that is mad dude I know dude it's, it's a mess and like oh, what can we do but hey we gotta get our predictions though yeah. it has to be like all the goats are playing all their their fight all these legends I mean there's them. a there's a couple of players that are on the roster which I'm a little disappointed on like, what teams Spain. Oh yes, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about it. Mexico. Okay, let's start off with okay. Let's start. Yeah, let's start off with Group A. We have Qatar, Senegal, Ecuador, and Netherlands. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go first. I think number one, no. Let's go fourth. Let's go four to number one. Okay. So I think number four would be Ecuador. Do you agree on that? No. No. Ecuador's they're they're decent, man. All right, they can compete. But you think? Oh wait, then who do you think is going to be fourth then? Qatar. You think Qatar? Oh, yeah. I feel okay. Qatar. Hear me it's out. It's gonna be a Qatar. I think Ecuador, Senegal, Ecuador. and then Netherlands. Really? Okay. That's, it seems reasonable, yes. But I think Ecuador is gonna well either way, Ecuador and Qatar will do what's it called not make it in the group. But I feel like Ecuador, uh, Qatar will do better than Ecuador. I feel like every time a host nation plays in a World Cup, like it's in their World Cup, I feel like they do good. Like for example, Russia, they did pretty good last year um, in the World Cup. So I feel like Qatar might do the, be the same, and like I feel like with all this, Qatar, Qatar is such a sketchy country, but right. they they had a better academy for the soccer players and everything, so they have a solid team apparently now. I'm pretty sure they're not, in, I'm pretty sure the top fifty teams right now, and I think they can compete. But yes, I agree. I think, but who do you think will be first and second? I think Netherlands going to be first, and then probably Senegal. I think Senegal might be first. I think Senegal. I don't know. I don't. Know. I, don't I don't think. Sadio Mane is in the shape right now, but they do have wait no that's Cameroon actually never mind. No Sadio Mane is Senegal. I know I know, but um I was thinking about the Bayern Munich striker Moting. Oh Chipa Moting he's, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah he's in he's Cameroon. But I don't know Senegal has a pretty good players like they have Mendy as a I goalkeeper. Know, great keeper they got uh, what's his name? Uh, oh Kulababli from Chelsea. Oh Kiliba yeah. Dude, I'm I'm telling you, I think Senegal might be the best African team in this but dude, World Cup. I'm, I'm surprised the other ones brought up Xavi Simmons. Dude, that's a shocker. They didn't brought they didn't brought Xavi Simmons. They did, dude. I mean, they did. Yes, that's oh, what I'm dude. saying. Okay, that, that, I, I doubted dude, him. I, I know you did. I know you did. You're like, I don't think he's gonna do good in PSV, man. Dude, he's killing it there. I legit doubted Xavi Simmons, and he is he's, doing. 
He's doing good in PSV, I'll admit. But I don't know if he can compete in top like clubs. Like for example, PSG, he didn't do that well. But hey, he's making his name his, his name for himself, and he's a young player. I think with time, I think he will join a big Dude, club. If he shines at the World Cup, big clubs are gonna. You think so? Oh yeah. I, mm, well, well, Javi Simmons, you got to keep an eye on him. We'll keep an eye on him. But no, I think Senegal is the best team. I think Senegal is the best African team in this World Cup right now. Oh, and yeah. I think they will place number, mm-hmm. number one. But hey, I respect that. All right. Now we have Group B. Iran, USA, England, and Wales. Oh, this is interesting, man. I think it's the group of death. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it really is. I oh, Obviously, I do not respect Iran. I'm sorry. I have to say it right now. The, There's the, so much going on in Iran right Exactly. Now. I don't think that this... At this point, it's sad that FIFA is a corrupt um, organization too. Dude, but like, there's a FIFA documentary should, about it. Exactly. I haven't watched it. Have you watched it? I haven't watched it. My brother did, but I think I'm about to watch it. I should watch I it want too. To. Yeah, but exactly. I think Iran should not even be in the World Cup. I, I'm sorry, Iran fans, but like, what's ever going on in there over there that they shouldn't even be in the World Cup. But yeah, I'm going Iran number four. Either way, they're not. I agree. They're not that. T- they're not that good oh, yeah, compared to these other three. But who do you think number four, three then? I, I think I gotta go with Wales. Really? I think I'm going with Wales. What? No. Yeah. US, oh I think USA. They're gonna, they're gonna be second for sure. England's gonna be first. You know, I'm gonna say this. But I'm gonna, I'm I'm have to be honest. I think Wales might be second. You think so? I think Wales will be second. My bad. Wales will be second. England will be first, and USA will flop. I'm sorry, but Ball Halter is not the coach for um, USA. He needs yeah, to get out. Right. He, he does not know what kind of style he is. He USA seems like it's not formed yet. There's a like talents, honestly. Weston McKenney, Pulisic. I don't know if you call Pulisic even no talent anymore. But you know, like Weston McKenney. No. Oh, Aronson. I like him. Aronson exactly. Oh, Tyler Adams. Tyler like Adams, they have some yeah. good. They have some good stars, but I feel like they should just flop it and focus on the next World Cup because that's going to be an interesting one. USA and Mexico won't do good this year. This World Cup, but next World Cup, I'm feeling it. Yeah, I'm they're feeling gonna have it. Home they're gonna have advantage. They're going to be something else, but yeah, USA is gonna, you're not gonna make it. Let's talk about England's roster, though. See, yeah, you think England would be number f- number one? Yeah, uh, for sure, number one. They did bad in the Nations League, you know. Yeah, they did really bad. So you think they're gonna beat Wales? Oh yeah. But Wales has Gareth. I don't know. I feel like Gareth Bale might go off because of his final World Cup. Something about that makes me like. All these, that's like that's why I'm taking it like it's for a factor. It's definitely Kane's last World Cup too. Oh, Kane, yeah. But I, Dude, but James the, Sancho they called up, man. What do you think? Okay, but James Sancho doesn't do. I don't know. I feel like he kind of his. He hasn't been playing for Man United right, that much. Yeah, I feel like. Playing. But Rashford. It's a debatable one with Rashford. <laughs> I don't think he's the greatest, but I I think. He will do good. But Harry Kane, yeah, I agree. But I don't know. Southgate, oh, these like... Southgate, he's making... Dude, he's making a lot of mistakes right now. Exactly. There's a couple of players that he left out. Exactly. Who who the guy? I don't know. Harry McGuire oh, got Tony, called up. man. I think Tony should have got called up from Southampton. Oh, no, Brentford. But same time, England, I don't know. It's interesting to me. I mean, a lot of, a lot of players There's are a lot injured of... right now, like Reese James, um, Chilwell. Oh, yeah, Ben um, Chilwell, yeah. Let's see. But I don't know. I, it's, it's same, same thing with um, England. It's like the same thing with Burrow Halter. Southgate is not the coach for England. Like, this group looks deadly, but they're not. <laughs> they don't, they're not a team. They're not a strong team. Maybe Wales. I feel like Wales could be. Maybe Wales might shock the whole group and be number one. But I know we'll England see, we'll see. and Wales will qualify for me. Now we have Group C. Honestly, Group C might be more competitive than Group B. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Group oh, yeah. C has Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Argentina, and Poland. Poland. Oh my God! What do we start? Uh, fourth. Uh, what do you get? Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Saudi. I don't know. Saudi Arabia can compete against these three, even oh, though definitely not. Even though one team is pretty messed up right now, aka Mexico. But <laughs> oh yeah. Who do you think will be number three then? Poland. Poland, I agree. Wow. Poland. Oh yeah. Even though they have Lewandowski, I, I, yeah, exactly. Even though they got Lewandowski, yeah, he he will score a couple goals off for sure. Yeah, that, yeah. he will. Especially but, against Mexico, I want oh, them yeah. to. Yeah, and Saudi Arabia. No matter. Yeah. I don't know about Argentina, but that's gonna be a t- uh, Mexico and Argentina is gonna be one of the good games, dude. 
it would be hyped, yes, with the passions, like the fans and everything, because Mexico has a great fan base, and Argentina, it just Messi is going to be a huge star in this oh, World yeah. Cup, dude. Everyone has an eye, and Argentina is actually freaking good this year, too, so oh, like, yeah. well, I agree. They're still undefeated, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, Argentina, number one for me, has to. And then Mexico, number two. Because Okay, I know they're a mess, but think about this. Every time they play in the World Cup, they're, they're, their passion is there. That passion. I think, what, tw- 2014, they, they did awesome, dude. Exactly. But they got robbed by um, no, Robin. Yeah, Netherlands. Penalty. Yeah, did they, they could have won far. Oh, yeah. But they, I feel like they can, they're can. they going to qualify because of the passion. And, like, I just – you can't – the fan base is just too strong. Like, the, something about Mexico, every time they play, the team just actually glues together. Even though they're a mess. And the coach, even – the coach, not the, he's not the right coach either. Not. Oh my god, when it, I'm telling you, next World Cup we're gonna be seeing a whole different coaches for these nations. Hopefully, dude. I I hope so too. Yeah, because England, USA, Mexico, their coaches I, ain't it. Kind of disappointed Tata then isn't bringing up Santi. I know. I dude, heard about that. Ra- Raul Jimenez is not in shape right now, and he's dude. he's going. And yeah, do you, you don't Funes like that? Mori is injured too. Yeah, so I don't. Why are you why are you bringing Raul Jimenez? Dude, he has I no minutes he, in his legs. I'm I telling think you. He, he picks favorites. I, I do. I, I really, really do think. think. Like, Chichel should be going. Oh my god. That's so stupid. Ah. I wish Carlos Vela accepted oh, the I offer. Know. Dude. I know. Dude, it's crazy. Like, why aren't these like because Carlos Vela had like beef with the Oh yeah, with the coach. It's crazy. This coach is not dude, I just don't get it. Yeah. Like he met has really got me questioning. And then Diego like, Linus is not going either. Uh, he's such think, a young I talent. Think, I know he, he should have went he for the experience. He should have went um for what's his name Rodriguez Charlie Rodriguez mm. I don't know yeah Tata's not doing the greatest he wasn't the greatest selection but just the passion with this team they're gonna go mm. for a second they're gonna go forward all right now we have group D Tunisia is that how you say it? Tunisia yeah, Tunisia Tunisia Denmark yeah. France Australia. and Australia who do you think they're gonna be number four Tunisia no I think I think Australia. Tunisia and Aus- it's between Tunisia and Australia I think Australia. It has to be. Tunisia's... An, I think Tunisia... Mm, yeah, I'd say... Yeah, I think... I'd say Australia's fourth. Australia's fourth? Yeah, me too. I agree. Yeah. And then... Tunisia or Denmark? I, dude, th- Denmark? They're decent. They're underdogs. They got, what? Dude, no, I could definitely yes, see... they got Ericsson, man. You have Ericsson. They got exactly. Christensen. Don't, don't you believe in the World Cup curse? <laughs> like, I honestly could see Denmark and Tunisia... What's it called? Winning the group. <laughs> Wow, but France, because that's the thing, like, France has all these stars, but something about it, something about the World Cup curse got to, it got me believing that they might just get knocked out, low-key. Who? France. France? <laughs> I don't know if they're going to break, I really don't, I don't. It'll be so cool. I, no, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go bold. I'm going to go Denmark first, and then Tunisia second, and France third, and then Australia fourth. Wait, wait, repeat that again? I'm going Denmark first, Tunisia second, France third, and Australia fourth. There's no way. Man. I think I'm, I'm, France just I think, gonna fuck it up. No. Explain we'll to see, me. We'll see. Italy. Italy had a strong team, and look what happened. <laughs> I don't know something about these. Well, I, I think believe, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going Denmark first, and then France. France second. Yeah. Ooh. And then and then Tunisia and then Australia. Not bad. I get. I respect that. But I I'm I believe in the World Cup curse. I'm going for it. <laughs> All right, and now we have Group E: oh, Japan, yeah. Costa Rica, J- Germany, and Spain. Yeah, I totally forgot Costa Rica qualified. What the fuck? I don't know. The only one player I know from Costa Rica is just Navas. Navas, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he carries the team too. He's like the face of the team. But no, I, I think Germany might be a dark horse this, this World Cup. I'm not going to lie. I think Germany might surprise a lot of people. Something about the coach, Flick. Something about him. Something, he's just like a master. Like he's, I think he's a genius. And I think, I think I'm going for Germany number one. And then Spain... He, the, the selections he picked it's I very know. debatable why did he not bring Sergio Ramos I, I know I, I question I, that I, I question why he didn't bring Thiago or Thiago oh yeah my God, I know dude. these or, uh, or De Gea De Gea he's a legend bro that, like it's his last De World Cup De you know De Gea De Gea, De Gea. Sounds De Gea. Manchester United Manchester United oh De Gea the goalkeeper yes, yes. I know. That's also crazy, too. It's, little, it's sad, but... Yeah, but it's he, questionable. I mean, he brought Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba, yeah, that's good. But I don't know. Something about Spain just reminds me of just... But, the coach, Enrique, I feel like he... I'm not trying to, like, 
cause any controversy, but I feel like he he prefers Barcelona players. Oh yeah, something about it. Something about it. Like he only brought Sancho from Real Madrid. Exactly. Something about it. It just makes me feel like, damn. Like yeah, yeah. He has a connection with Xavi. Yeah, I don't he know. has yeah. a connection. Yeah. So like, but at the same time, they, Spain is a pretty young team too. Oh yeah, they got so. Gavi, Pedri. Um, they have very young talent. Yeah, I just think they're gonna. I think they'll be second, but Germany number one, and then. I think I, I'm going with top one, third place. Or Spain? Hop one. Japan, third place. Japan, third place. And then fourth, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. So who's number one for? Oh, Germany. Oh, Germany? Yeah, Spain? I'm going oh, with Germany. Oh, okay. We got the same. Perfect. That's yeah, honestly perfect. good. This next group's interesting, dude. Group F? Yeah. Group F it consists of Morocco, Canada, Belgium, and Croatia. <sighs> Man, this is yeah. debatable. Yeah, that's also debatable. What the fuck? Yeah, that's crazy. I like well, Belgium, Croatia, dude. Belgium, both, the last golden generation. This is their last year to actually prove that they actually are worthy of being good because people say they're the best. They have this the golden generation for this their nation and everything, but they always flop at the end. I don't know. I think they will flop. I think it, we over they overhyped them. And like, there's like the only good players that are actually playing good are like what? De Bruyne. That's it. <laughs> I'm, or, oh no, Courtois hasn't Courtois. been. He's been. I feel bad. Real Madrid. I think we just been conceding a lot of goals. Yeah, I and think like he's just team. No, I feel like your team is fatigued as fuck. Oh, like yeah. he has played. That, 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 same with every single team. Yeah. So I feel bad for um, Courtois. So he'll be less confident. I feel like he'll go in the World Cup. But yeah, De Bruyne is the only one. I just don't see. I don't honestly. I see Belgium going number three, getting knocked out. Morocco. I don't know. Belgium and Morocco might put up a fight with each other, but Canada. Canada. Where were you placing? I'm gonna play some place in third place. What? Yeah. Whoa! No, no, no. I should. I think I'm going. Uh, Morocco's third for sure. Morocco's third. third. I think I'm putting Croatia at first, and then Ooh. Belgium second, and then Canada last. What? Yeah. No way. I'm putting Canada first. There's no way, man. Yes. This, dude, they haven't been in the World Cup. They haven't played against something these about top, it. They, I don't. They've never played against top teams like Belgium and Croatia. True, I they're agree gonna, on they're that. They're gonna come in. They're, they're gonna come in strong, but then they're gonna get shot. I yeah. think they'll get shot by Croatia. What's their first game? Um, let's see. If it's Croatia, then yeah, maybe that'll affect them because they're confident. The but Canada's confidence level is pretty high right now. Belgium. Belgium, oh, ooh, yeah. that's that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, I can see. Can I feel? I feel like Canada and Belgium are equal. They're not. They're both. They're both in the same class. But yeah, Croatia. I don't know. Yeah, they only have Modric and like Perisic is like kind of aging. This team, yeah, they they made a beautiful run last World Cup, but I think second. I'm not gonna go for them first. I think Canada, their confidence they level. I really do think their confidence no level is super high right now. And, like, dude, Davis got cheated on. Man, Matt Davis prime. is going to go prime's out. coming. <laughs> exactly. Well, Dave, Dave, Davis didn't get cheated on. But Davis got fucked, you know, or oh, fucked over. Real. Exactly. And I don't know, something about Canada, they're going to go off this World Cup. Because, heck, this is a, they haven't been in the World Cup since one. Ten, like, since 1980. Wow. Exactly. Oh, yeah. This is Canada's time to shine. All right. Now we have Group G. Group G consists Cameroon, Brazil, that's Switzerland now this time, right? Yeah, Switzerland. Switzerland and Serbia. Serbia, yeah. Okay, that's in, uh, obviously Brazil. Brazil is something else. Oh, they're, dude. But Brazil's so scary. To me, Brazil, it seems like it just it just screams that they're going to win. Dude, the soccer's World Cup. life in Brazil, I'm telling you. I just, yeah, exactly. Like, so, ah, something something about it just makes me feel like it's going to be Brazil who's going to win and or Argentina, like, it screams Brazil. like oh, dude, they're, they're just too oh, stacked. Oh yeah, too stacked. Like no matter what happens to Brazil, they'll have a replacement like that. Like and like the the, the way they play beautiful. Like they're I don't know something about them. They're just not they're not yeah. the same. They don't can't compete. Like they're on another level with Cameroon. Yeah, fourth. They're not fourth. Cameroon. I respect. Yeah, okay. I respect that that they qualify, but they can't. Switzerland. I think I'm I'm going. I think Serbia. Serbia. Second. Yeah, Serbia second. Yeah, oh, they're yeah. they're always a solid team. I'm not gonna they lie. They got Mitrovic. Yeah, exactly. That, that, yes, that yeah. Serbia is a solid team. I agree. I like that. I like the way they play. Switzerland. Yeah, they used to be good, but oh, now. Yeah. 
Well, they got Shakiri, Shaka. Dude, Shaka's been playing good, dude. Oh, yeah. Such a huge passion for Arsenal. I love it. But, yeah, I think Serbia will be number second. Something about them. They're just a solid team. Brazil, oh, yeah. automatic oh, yeah. first. All right, then we have our final group. This one is... I think it's tough. You think so? South Korea, Korea man. South Korea, Ghana, Uruguay, and Portugal. That is... Pre- I, I don't know. We'll s- I think... Portugal number one, obviously. I'm probably going to go Uruguay second. Uruguay second? Yeah. I think South Korea second. You think so? I think I'm, so. I'm putting South Korea third for sure. Wow. Dude, Uruguay, dude. Yeah, they have Suarez and Cavani and, every, and oh. Nunez. Valverde. Don't oh, forget Valverde, shit. man. Don't forget shit. him, man. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. He's that a star, is true. dude. He became, yeah, this year, yeah. Fuck. You're right. You changed me. <laughs> <laughs> Uruguay second. Uruguay, man. Yeah. Who do you think is gonna win? Uruguay versus Portugal. Who do you think will win that? Gonna, Uruguay beat them last or what? The last World Cup, what? Two one, I think. Against Portugal. Yeah. Oh shit. Or, or it might have been two zero. I'm not sure. I don't know. I think. I think but, they did. Yeah. But do you think Ronaldo will do good this World Cup though? Oh yeah. You think so? He's gonna. He's gonna be the first perf- uh, person to score five World in, Cups. Yep, score a goal. In, or score a goal in every or the five World Cups, yeah. Something about me. I think I think he will. I think Ronaldo's done. <laughs> I think like he's gonna be happy that he scored his fifth World Cup and everything. But after that, he won't be. A, I don't think he will be the star. I don't think he was gonna carry Portugal. I'll admit Portugal has stars. I'll oh, admit, but Ronaldo stars. ain't gonna be the star. <laughs> like he'll just be that. I don't know if you even consider him as a leader right now. Like to me, he just seems like a very I think, uh, a toxic. Well, I don't right think now. he's a leader at Manchester United because no. with the whole situation, but I you think, think, so I think oh, yeah, in Portugal, he's, he's a leader. I don't know. There's so much going on with Ronaldo. Like, it just scre- like just gets negative and net more worse and worse for him. And just something about just him, he's just not a player to be around, like, good player to be around with because you can't trust what he's going to say. Like, he's. I feel like he might bring the whole team down. Not low-key. But... I'll admit, they have some Fernandez, freaking Pepe still in there. Who's who? Yeah, they got uh, Silva. Silva, yes. They got Raul Leo. Yes, that. Milan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They um, ha- oh, my God. Dude, he is so good. I fucking um, love that guy, dude. <laughs> Leo is a star, a future star. Um, I want him in Barcelona. <laughs> like, I am craving him. <laughs> But yes, Leo, yes. Who's one of their strikers? I know they have um, a... It's n- besides Ronaldo. I'm pretty sure it's like some other notice. Oh, Jao. Jao Felix. Oh, man. He's that leaving, man. man. He's leaving. Dude. He, I think he's leaving. He tarnished his fucking career so hard. Dude, he, he would... I think he's good. I think... I think he's, I, he's not at the, he's not I don't think at he's the right club right now. Yeah, I don't think he's at the right club. I don't think he's good right now. He need, This is his chance to the, prove... Oh, yeah. To be... That he is a world there's, class. Dude, there's a lot of players player right that need to shine at this. That world need Cup. to break out. I know. Like what? Yeah, um, Felix needs to break out. Who else? Um, who has see. a chance? Javi Simmons also Javi needs to break. Oh, yeah, he needs he needs yeah. to break out. I guess you can. Uh, Davis is already a superstar. Spain. Spain has his oh, youngster. Um, Musiala. He's good, dude. Musiala he should break Jamal out. Musiala. Oh, oh, yes. In Germany. God, yes, such, dude. He's a star. That man needs to break. No, he, I think he's slowly breaking it out in Bayern. But, dude, if he breaks out in Germany, dude, he might. Oh, dude. Jude Bellingham. Future. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham. Yeah. He, oh, he's oh. already a star, dude. Yeah, that man. But, yeah. dude, he's, gonna, I, he's so good, bro. Yeah, no, that man's a leader. But Musiala. He could make a name for himself this World Cup. That's insane. Because we always have this one player that always breaks out in each World Cup. Oh, yeah. Like last, I remember like um, James Rodriguez. That was oh, a more memorable that was his one. World Cup too, was exactly. 14. That was a memorable one. I think Russia was what? Who do you think it was? I think it was like I think to be to me screamed Harry Kane. I don't know about you. I think he scored a lot. Oh yeah. I think Harry Kane broke out over there. Even though he was a main star and everything, but, but like he got more recognition that he is a fucking top class player because being stuck in Spurs. Not winning a trophy, disappointing. But yes, this World Cup, there's a lot of old legends. Last World Cup, so I like. I feel like a lot of countries are gonna like go off, like die for this club and everything. Oh, yeah. Like this is gonna be an interesting one. Like, so yeah. what do, you, what what team or like what underdog team do you think is gonna shine? Underdog, like like I think 
the team that we're going to surprise us of the most, I feel like will be Germany. Germany? <laughs> yeah. I think okay. they will be the underdogs because we all think that there is that that what was that last what was who was that last coach from Germany? Um I don't know, some guy who fucking smells his fucking shit. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I forgot his name, but yeah, that man literally legit tarnished Germany's nation. Like everyone thinks that Germany is just this like oh a team that always flops and everything. But with Flick and everything and like the way they perform, they just play like a solid team. I feel like they will do good. And they have Neuer do the fucking wall still. Oh yeah. They're gonna I Dude, think they, they got a whole stack of keepers. What they got uh Ter Stegen. Mm-hmm. Ter Stegen, yeah. The trap that the third keeper. Who? Kevin Trapp. Oh, Kevin Trapp, he's yeah. What, he's playing Frankfurt now? Yeah. Dude, man, that was he was such a talent. I feel like he's still good, but man, I don't think I don't think he deserves to play at Frankfurt. He needs to go play at a bigger club. What nation do you think will be a disappointment? Dude, that's... Oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, if I'm being dead-ass honest, I think the USA. <laughs> yeah, the USA for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I even though people say you always go for the Americans, but yeah, I think USA will be a disappointment. Ball Holter ain't it? Ain't it? Ball Holter needs to get needs to leave this club. Like we are such, we have so much talent, so much potential in this team. He's not the right coach, and I want a good proper coach for the next World Cup. So who do you think? That's hard, man. Um. Or Belgium. Honestly, Belgium could be a disappointment. Like Spain, whoa! But you think they're gonna go a second though? Yeah. Or you don't yeah. think they're gonna be like as good as you th- everyone thinks they are gonna be? Yeah, I think. I think they're gonna be the most over overhyped team. Uh, yeah, because they're such a young team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Also, USA. There's also I'm pretty sure they're they're the youngest country, right now. Yeah. So like, either way, I'm happy that they qualify. It's it so feels all, <laughs> all these teams should be you know happy that they qualify. Right. But yeah, the most disappointing, like people are overhyped USA. I feel like people are overhyping USA. But Spain, I also agree. Yeah, I could I could definitely see a reasoning why Spain, they're such a young team. But yeah, also Belgium, dude. I think Belgium's shit. Dude, they <laughs> like got, that's such an overhype. They got this Tross, Trossard from um, Brighton. He's good. Trossard. Oh, yeah. Is he, oh, yeah. He's yeah. He's Belgium. Oh, my God. He is he's, shining think, in Brighton. Dude, he right is, now. dude. I, we'll see. We'll see if he shines. We'll yeah, see, I don't we'll think see. so. I, uh, I something about Belgium doesn't almost ho- overhype team. Who do you think will be the top scorer in this World Cup? Ooh, that's hard actually. Let's see. We got Mbappe, I think Messi. We got Messi. We got Ronaldo. Let's see. We got There's Neymar. Uh, we got Darwin Nunez. We got what? Uh, Messi. <laughs> so there's. Have you not seen Messi in PSG right now? He's doing pretty good. I think. Um, or Neymar. He Fuck. he definitely is doing better than last year for sure. Mm-hmm. Or last season. Yeah, that's true. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's tough. Mm, maybe Vinicius. Ooh. I'm not sure. You br- of course you bring Vinicius. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know th- I think. That's, I'm going for. I think that's a hard question, man. Messi will be it. You don't think Messi, dude? Legit, dude. Oh my god! Like ten goals and ten assists already. That man's off right now. That man is getting protected by every single Argentinian in that team. It's so hard, man. <clears throat> or Benzema, you think so? I think Benzema could score Benzema. a lot. Oh, yeah. Or Musiala. I feel like Musiala could break out if he scores. But if I, don't, top not, score. I don't think he's going to play striker, though. He's more of a center mid. But, yeah, um... Damn, it's got. I think it's got to be. I think Benzema. Benzema. Yeah, I agree. Benzema. Well, no, I don't agree, but I respect that. I could see. Yeah. I could see Benzema scoring, competing Benzema. against Messi. I think Vinicius is going to score a lot too. Hopefully. I think my, Vinicius might be a little bit fatigued from Real Madrid from being overplayed. Uh, Benzema is lucky he got injured and he hasn't played in him quite oh, a while. He's just getting set out and everything. Vinicius, he's been getting. He carried a little bit for Real Madrid. I mean, but then I feel like he's not in that in form anymore. Like he, Ronaldo's gonna score a lot too. You don't? I don't think so. He is, man. Something about Ronaldo. He hasn't, he, he's, he hasn't been playing a lot, which it's good for you know the World Cup. 
Well, it could be both ways, you know, not getting minutes in your legs. Exactly. Or just, you know, resting for the World Cup. That's true. Exactly. Something. Oh, it's, I don't know. I feel bad for Ronaldo. He, his career is just slowly declining. Like, I think this is his last he, World I mean, Cup. He even admitted, like, the club doesn't even want him there. Yeah. But no, but, like, either way, like, his whole career is just downhill. Like, he doesn't play the same. You see, you see him play out there. He's just that. He walks around. I don't know. I saw I saw the game against what what game did he play? I know he played um, the last Premier League game he played. Um, when was it? Well, that last Premier League he played, he was just walking. He doesn't see. He did not feel connected to the team. It was fucking sad. And I'm like, damn, this. He's he needs to leave this club. Like he doesn't belong there. He he's aging, dude. He doesn't play as. I think a, I think he should just stay at Madrid. Oh my yeah. Where would you where do you think he's gonna go now? Honestly, don't know. Like, it'd be nice to go back to his former club, but maybe sporting. No, or, what? that's the thing. Real Madrid. I think sporting is the great. What, either no. Honestly, I was thinking about it. I think he could go to MLS. I think he should just go to MLS. And well, I think that's what Messi's doing. Yeah, like, I feel like that's at this point. That's just where he should go because if he goes back, dude, he really t- tarnished his career for Man United. Like, people thought Ronaldo would be a legend in Man United, but now he's just like this evil person now. Like, it's just over. Like. That's sad. Like he's such a legend. He should never even join Man United. That's the thing. Like I always had this thought. Like yeah, it was cool seeing a legend coming back. But now look at him. People think right. of him, he's an evil person now. And like, ah, sad. And I don't. People have been saying that he might go to Madrid. But why would he go back to Madrid? That makes me so mad. As much as like, no. Why go? Like teammate who he, he conquered Real Madrid. He made Real Madrid Real Madrid. You right. know. I don't see why he needs to go back to Real Madrid. I don't see why he needs to go back to Man United. And I do not see why he need to go back to sporting. Like he, that's where he started. I guess he can end it where he comes starting. But like he, he has this attitude that he wants to keep playing. You know, even though he doesn't, he's not at the level anymore. Anymore. But I respect that he wants to keep playing. But he, I feel like he hasn't gotten through his head that he's not as good as he, as he used to be or last year. Like, it's sad. Like I, I respect Ronaldo, but damn, Ronaldo needs to get to his head. Like this, he's not that Ronaldo anymore. He is. He just has a strong mentality, man. I like, respect it so much. And hey, bring it, bring it to MLS. We will love have. I will love, dude. If oh my god, I will legit buy the first ticket over there for the Ronaldo wherever it goes. I will legit go to that. I, but like, exactly, it will boost MLS a lot. But I don't. I just feel bad seeing him playing against like Premier League teams. Like he cannot compete at all. Like he, I'm sorry. Like I can't compete at Premier League. I'll admit, I'm not good enough. But like. <laughs> He can't. He's also not good enough anymore. Like I'm sorry, but prove me wrong in MLS. Though he can easily destroy an MLS, and that's like what he wants. He wants to score goals. He wants to celebrate. He wants to do this iconic celebration he has now. I love it so much. But dude, exactly. But like he he can't do it in Premier League. He cannot. He and he cannot do it in Madrid. No, and I don't think he can do it in Sporting. But MLS, I'm liking that idea, just like Messi. But where will he go in MLS? I think Inter Miami. I no, there's <laughs> no. no way. That's where Messi's going. Exactly. No, I don't. I don't think that would be the most. That's when you know soccer's all about money. I don't oh know. yeah, because legit funny. at this point, every single time the World Cup happens or like UEFA, the Champions League, every time it just seems about corrupt corruption and money and greed. It makes me pissed off. As this beautiful game is getting ruined by money, and it's just ah, oh, it's sad to see. But hey. We love the sport that we'll still oh, yeah. talk about it and make a career out of it. <laughs> Was that it? Is that all you got? Yeah, that's a bit all right. All right. So that's it. So we'll, that's, uh, we'll give our predictions for the groups. So then after the next round, we'll give our round of 16, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, and saying. then we'll continue from there. But yeah, thank you for listening, Foodie Talks. And you can like and subscribe and you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and you can listen to this on Spotify. Thank you, Brian. Anything else? No, really, that's about it. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank and you, have a good day. Peace. Peace.